All right, so oh yeah, yeah, this is me blowing off a little steam, having some fun with you. This is going to be like uh, res you know how YouTube works, or responding to stupid YouTube comments. Part did how YouTube works. For those of you that don't realize, if you if you're watching a video, my video or anybody else's video, unless it's live, it's not actually happening at that moment. So. Uh, if you're trying to make suggestions about something you see me doing, it's already done. If you watch the video to the end, you'll find out I already accomplished it, or I didn't, and I explain why. So uh, it's just funny. There was a <clears throat> a video I did recently on the the 502 Coleman stove, and I got a couple guys who were like, "You're using the channel locks wrong. You're holding them in the wrong direction." There's a thing about YouTube where if you with the thumbnails sometimes on the screen if you move your cursor over that it'll show a few seconds of the video and I think that's what people are looking at because they'll see me doing it for a few seconds in that one direction if you actually watch the video you'll discover I use those channel locks in every way possible to break that thing free that burner plate because it was welded on rock solid with rust <clears throat> and there's a Bunsen in the way Right, so you can only turn it so far, then you got to switch it around so you can get it the other way. And there was only a couple spots where we actually grabbed, keeping in mind that there was a ton of slippery crap all over it because I was trying to break the rust free. You'll notice if you actually watch the video, <laughs> I actually grab it at one point with the pliers and I'm able to spin it off after I broke it free. To break it free, just with those channel locks, I actually ended up torquing the whole top of that stove. So the three mounting points, these little nubs that I guess are brazed in place that are threaded, all three of those spun and tipped down a little bit into the top. So it's, it's basically, I mean, I can still fix it if I want to. It's going to take a ton of time. But again, even if all I did with those channel locks was use them in what you think is the wrong direction, it still worked. It still came off. And in real time, you see me doing it. And even if I was doing it in the wrong direction, I was getting some slipping, uh, it still came off within a couple minutes. But that was after days of soaking it and really working it. So I just think it's funny that <laughs> you know, it's like uh, Facebook comments where you put stuff out there. 99% of everything I put out there is I'm trying to help people out in a funny way. This is what I think. I'm putting it out there. That's all. It's not that serious. None of this shit is that serious. But from time to time, somebody gets triggered to the point where they take it serious and then they have to respond to it with their personal bullshit. Well, you know, I, you know, I don't have to be lectured to on this or blah, well, blah. Well, well, shut the fuck up. I get it. It's not that serious to me. I have strong convictions about a few things in life that I would probably fight to the death for, I suppose, if I had to, you put me in that position. But is that going to happen? Probably not. So I really don't take any of this shit that seriously. We're here for a short period of time. The body fails. We're released, freed from this prison, and we go on to the next thing. It's all good, man. So laugh a little. Love a little bit more. Don't take yourself so freaking seriously and just stifle yourself. Just to try to work on stifling yourself. Look, I fall victim to it. I am not a perfect human being. From time to time, I see something and I get triggered by it. And after the fact, I always feel stupid. I feel like an idiot myself. And sometimes I go back and erase my comment. Sometimes I comment <laughs> and I erase it right away. Uh, you're always better like if, if, if you feel like you've got something to say that goes against what you're looking at, you could type it out, but maybe don't hit the, the button yet. Like, think it over. Maybe even copy and paste that. Put it aside for a few moments. Think about it a day or something. Because when you get triggered and you put that out there, you know, you think you're trying to get your point of view across the other person, but we, what you haven't learned yet is most people only understand things from their own perspective. Once you accept that reality, a lot of people's bullshit won't bother you so much, so.
have fun, be good to one another, and uh, try not to just jump the gun on everything. And again, realize, when you're watching one of my videos, it has already happened. It's already happened. It's not happening right now. Just in case you don't know that, now you do. I'll see you next time.